In this video, I'm going to discuss connectors. So what you've got with Visio is three connector types. You've got uh, line tool, you've got connector tool, and you've got dynamic connectors. The line tool is available here at the top under pointer tool. So if you drop it there, then you select line. And with that, you can do a manual line connection. There's also the connector tool here. And this is often used to connect physical device stencils such as available with uh, Cisco and other multi-vendor uh, stencils. And uh, lastly, there's dynamic connectors. First thing I'll do is show you dynamic connectors. What I'll do is go to My Shapes and select Cisco VSS Stencils. Then I'll go to Quick Shapes. And what I want is a Layer 2 switch and an access point. There's the access point, and there's the uh, layer 2 switch. So I want to connect these two. So if I want to center them, I'll just uh, line it up in that center line there. And with dynamic connectors, just hover over the uh, shape, and you'll notice the arrow's there. So all I have to do is just score the arrow, point in that direction, and it'll uh, connect it just like that. Quite easy to do. So there's two issues with this uh, type of dynamic connector. The first one is it will leave a slight gap there with some of the shapes, such as with the uh, layer 2 switch there. And if that's not a problem, then uh, that's not an issue, of course. The other thing to note is if you move the shape, it'll create a bend line like that. And if that's not a problem, then uh, that's okay as well. Sometimes you prefer straight lines with uh, drawings, or there's nothing wrong with uh, bend lines either. As mentioned, you do get this slight gap here, but on a positive note, uh, it makes line drawing quite easy. Now I'll just show you a line tool. So I'll just delete this. I'll just center them here. I'll just go to line here. And here I'll just go overlap here. And I'll follow the green line so it's straight. And what I'll do is send to back. And connect pointer tool. And what that does is that uh, hides any overlap. However, you'll note it'll also move the uh, line closer to the uh, shape. The issue here though is if I move this shape, then I have to create a new line. So it's just as easy as moving the line, and that's all there is to it. A lot of this is based on preference with how you like to do your drawings. And there's device stencils. These are physical devices. So I'll select a couple of them here. I'll be using the 9300 in this course. And with physical devices, typically you're going to want to use the uh, connector tool. What I've done is I just selected here and go from there right over to another port. And then what I'll do is select pointer tool, and then I can uh, just adjust that accordingly, something like that. So that's what's typically done with physical uh, stencils. And that concludes the uh, video.